What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media and welcome to the third part of our live Pokemon showdown OU suspect session featuring the lovely Giratina O and uh, I've had a lot of fun using this so far. I don't know exactly how I feel about Giratina being in OU yet, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, this is probably going to be the last part. I just kind of want to see where I am on the ladder at this point because the ladder is really small right now because it kind of just started. Uh, 154 at 1107. That's pretty silly. Pretty silly. I do have 936 coil though, only after a few battles, so that's pretty fun. Let's go ahead and search for a battle. And uh, what do we have here? Standard, 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 basically. A lot of uh, threats though, that's for sure. Heatran is a problem because it does kind of wall Sylvia. But I can potentially deal with that with the low punny. In fact, Lopunny just poops on his team with the exception of Sableye and Landorus. So if we can weaken those, we can uh, be in some, we can be in a good position. Actually, Sableye is not an issue because I have Scrappy and High Jump Kick is super effective. So forget that I even said that. He just has Landorus for that. And uh, I kind of want to set up rocks right away. He doesn't have anything to get rid of rocks, actually, as he's just going to go into the Rotom here. So that's a free setup for me. And I don't think I want to leave this thing in. I probably should go out into Giratina. That's my best switch, even though it could potentially willow me. Um, do I want to do that? Maybe. But I'm just going to go into Giratina anyway. He does go for the willow. Okay, he was going to willow a Gliscor. But I guess he saw already that I didn't have the Toxic Orb. So, fair enough. I will just click Dragon Tail now and just kind of shuffle his team around a little bit. Try to get some hazard damage going. And uh, he's, he's going to go for, for Volt Switch here. There's really no reason for him not to. He shouldn't be too afraid of me. I mean, I guess he could think that I was special, but even still, he most likely would outspeed. And it just goes for uh, the Volt Switch, as expected. And he still doesn't know if I'm special or physical or not. But I guess he's assuming that I'm going to be physical? I don't know. He goes into the Basharp, and we can get rid of that and bring Heat Train in. It does show off the lefties. So I'm guessing it's a defensive variant. I can't really do much to this, and Giratina is honestly pretty useless with the burn, and I do not have any clerics. He doesn't know that because he sees the Sylveon, but still. But still, as he's going to turn the timer on, fair enough. I guess I'm taking kind of a long time to choose my moves. I always do, though. So sometimes I even turn on the timer and still take forever to choose my moves, which is kind of ironic. But he does just go for the Stealth Rock. Gets back up to full HP here. I kind of want to just click Scald because he's probably going to switch in his Sableye predicting a Rapid Spin as he just does just that. And that does a hefty amount. 46%. So are you going to stay in here and risk a burn? You definitely will live this after you Mega Evolve. He is going to stay in and just go for the Prankster Recover. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, but we do get the burn, which is great. I don't think he has any way of healing that off, looking at his team. And uh, we're in a great position here. I could just go for Reflect type, so that uh, Dark Pulse won't do too much to me. But I, it, it's probably better for me to just go into, let's see. Could go into Sylveon here, I guess, but he still has Heatran. So, I don't have HP ground. I really need to change that to HP ground, I guess, because I've been running into so many Heatrans. Uh, he does have Ferrothorn, though, so there's also that that he might try to switch in. He does go for the Will-O-Wisp, and I was able to predict that and go into Giratina. It would have been fine if he just killed me there, because I, mean, I don't even know if a Dark Pulse would kill, to be honest, just because Giratina is so fat. Really, really is. I can just click Dragon Tail here, I guess. If he wants to go into Ferrothorn, no, he's going to go into Basharp again and let it take more damage. So another 20-something percent. As he goes into the Landorus, that shows lefties as well. So this, I'm assuming, is some kind of physically defensive variant. I'm going to click Will-O-Wisp, but I haven't shown it to him yet. I doubt he's going to go right into Heatran. At least I hope he doesn't do that. I mean, I guess if he does, we can just sack Giratina and go into Low Punny and waste his Flash Fire boost. So there's that. He does stay in, so we get the burn off, which is great. We outspeed this thing, too, as he goes for a knockoff that doesn't kill, even with the burn damage, which is pathetic. That knockoff did 16%. Jeez. I guess 
I mean, Shadow Sneak's gonna do zero. I'm gonna click Willow again in case he wants to switch something else in, as no, he does not. He's just going to kill me with a U-turn. Fair enough. Fair enough, my friend. But you're gonna take more uh, hazard damage coming back in, and I'm okay with that. Slowly but surely wearing this thing down. He's got a lot of things with lefties on his team, now that I'm thinking about it. Anyway, let's see what he wants to switch in here. Um, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to go into Sableye. Okay, you basically sacking that? I can go into Starmie and just kill that. And then Rapid Spin right after. Because I can Rapid Spin on anything. There's nothing on this team that can Oko me other than Basharp. And you're just going to take more hazard damage. So yeah, I'm just going to go right into uh, right into Starmie here. I have no reason to not click Scald. He's just going to sacrifice his Sableye, which is great. Having a Magic Bounce user gone is fantastic, as he does go right into the Basharp. And I'm not too afraid of this. I can Reflect Type and then go for the Rapid Spin right after. That will... Oh, he goes for the Sucker Punch. Perfect. So I don't have to take any damage at all. Lovely. He doesn't show lefties. Actually, I'm going to click Scald here. There's a chance we might get a burn. And some more damage on this thing could be helpful. At the range he's at now, he's not a switch into uh, Sylveon anymore either. As he is going to switch out into Ferrothorn. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I can just reflect type that as well, as this shows lefties. He's got like four Pokemon with lefties and a Mega Sableye. This is such a fat team. I really thought that Landers would be Scarf, but that's defensive too. I'm going to click reflect type here, because then all he can do is T-wave me. I'll become immune to Toxic if he has that. Power Rip will do nothing. Gyro Ball is going to be a resisted hit. He can't Leech see me as he does go for the Power Rip. That is a whopping 13%. And yeah, that with lefties, that does absolutely nothing. So I kind of want to just Scald here. Fish for a burn. You really don't have anything to switch in except for Rotom. No burn as he is going to start setting up hazards. He's going to start spike stacking. I don't know why because eventually I'm going to get a burn on you. Do you really just want to waste your Ferrothorn, which could potentially switch in on Sylveon if you lose your Heatran? I don't know. I don't agree with that play. But I, I can just spam Scald here. Because that burn on anything on this team would be great, and he can't switch in Landorus on that, as he does go for Leech Seed, which I am immune to. I guess he predicted a switch there. Still no burn, though, which is unfortunate. That is the third Scald in a row and no burn, as he's just spamming Leech Seed at this point. I, I, I need to just get a burn. I'm, I'm fishing for one. You need to give me one, Hacks Gods. Come on now. It's a 30% chance. 30% chance. I'm kind of surprised he's staying in, though. He really just wants to get Leech Seed damage on something. I'm not going to let you do that. I'm not going to let you do that. I will click Scald, I don't know, however many times I need to. How many do I have left? 17? I will click Scald 17 times. You are going to get burned. The Hacks Gods don't hate me that much. Click Scald again. And he's still not burned. He's going to stack some more spikes. I'm going to click Scald again. That's all I'm doing right now is just fishing for a burn. That's five in a row with no burns. Jeez. Normally, I get it within three or four tries. So this is a bit much. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to tell you it must be nice because uh, I've, I've never seen that before. I don't, I don't think. I don't think I've ever seen so many Scalds in a row with no burns. And uh, unfortunately, that's my only play here. I can't really do anything else, as he does go into the Rotom here. And I don't burn that either. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I can take one hit from this and Rapid Spin. So I, I really don't want to switch and take all that damage. So I am going to Rapid Spin. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, yeah, and I'm, I'm Grass-type. What are you going to do to me? You have nothing that you can do. I resist your stab. All you can do is burn me, and even then, I have Natural Cure, so that's not really a good play. So, if anything, I would think that he would want a Vault Switch here. And what does this Rotom have? It has Lefties. This has Lefties too? I swear, everything on this team has Lefties. What the world? Except for that Basharp. So we're going to get rid of all those hazards as he goes for Will-O-Wisp. Why are you willowing a Natural Cure user? I don't, I don't understand. Like, you had to know I would have Rapid Spin. Oh well, I guess that's just what he wanted to do. Fair enough. I have 14 Skulls left. Is there a chance that I could get a burn by clicking Skull 14 more times? I'm not going to play around with that. As he does Volt Switch, 
and now he's gonna go into Heatran most likely. Please go into Ferrothorn, that'd be great, because I'm just gonna click HP Fire and you're gonna die, and I will be a happy person. But, yeah, he's got to switch in Ferrothorn, I guess, because it's possible that I can have the HP ground. I guess it's a 50-50 for him. He needs to figure out which HP I have. He hasn't seen what this Sylveon can do, either, so he doesn't know exactly that I am offensive. I guess there's that, too. I forgot that I haven't showed him what kind of set I am. Uh, he goes into the Basharp, actually. Hmm. I guess I could go into Gliscor? And get some more damage on this thing. I'm kind of tempted to just click Hyper Voice though. But if he's max speed, which a lot of them are, he's just going to kill me with an Iron Head. So I don't really want to mess around with that. I'm going to go right into Gliscor. As he does go for the Iron Head, that doesn't do much. He does have to take the Rocky Helmet damage. He'll have to take more if he wants to knock the Rocky Helmet off. So I'm in a pretty good position here. I can taunt him to prevent him from setting up Swords Dances. And I should outspeed you. Even if you are max speed, because I'm running a, a, a decent amount of speed. Not a crazy amount, but a decent amount. And really, anything he wants to switch in, I would benefit from taunting, because they all have, like, silly moves. So silly moves, like Stealth Rock. That's not a silly move, but that, what I'm saying is that they're, like, all defensive Pokemon, and just about everything on his team except for Basharp is. So, I'm going to click Roost again, because he can't do anything to me. He's going to go for the knockoff and just get rid of the helmet, but... He's going to take all kinds of damage, and this is fine. I don't care if he knocks off my helmet. He's taking the burn damage, and all he's doing is making it easier for me to come in and just kill everything with Mega Lopunny. So, that sounds like fun. Sounds like fun indeed. Uh, do I want to taunt again, predicting a switch, because I can't hit you? Oh, he doesn't switch. He stays in to U-turn. Okay. Fair enough. I forgot these things just love to spam U-turn. What are you going to go into? Mmm, the Rotom, maybe? I mean, probably not Heatran, even though it could probably kill me. But I'm pretty sure it's just completely defensive. So I don't even know if a, uh, a Lava Plume would kill me. And I could just EQ it. And it would be a bad time for him. So, I, I would guess the Rotom is your switch here, my friend. As he is going to go into the Rotom, take some more Hazards damage, get some of that back via the Lefties. Did that say 7%? I thought Lefties was 6%. Who knows? Uh, he can't do much to Sylveon, so I'm going to go back into it here, as he does go for the Will-O-Wisp. So that's fine. And... Uh, I kind of want to click... Let's see. Hidden Power Fire is somewhat of a good play, I guess. But if he goes into that Heatran, that could be an issue. So I'm going to go for Hyper Voice, as he leaves us in to take all kinds of damage just to Volt Switch. I don't understand that play. I don't understand that play. You really needed to switch in Heatran there. You really did. Because even if I was defensive and I went for Hyper Voice, that still would have done a lot. But I guess he was thinking that maybe uh, he would outspeed me. But yeah, that had to be what it was. Because I hadn't shown a move yet, so he had no way to know that I was offensive. So I guess that makes sense. Because Rotom does naturally outspeed Sylveon. So fair enough. I don't know what I'm talking about. I think I'm just looking for reasons to complain about his plays now, which is kind of silly on my part, so I apologize for that. So back into the Ferrothorn he goes. I'm going to go into uh, Nightwing here as a pivot switch. I'm going to taunt this thing, because then he has to power whip me, and I'm not very afraid of power whips from a Ferrothorn that's clearly defensive. As he is going to go back into the Rotom, I'm going to taunt this, so he cannot go for Will-O-Wisp, and that means he... It's a 50-50 here. If he predicts a, uh, a switch and goes for Volt Switch and I switch in Starmie, that could be unfortunate. Um, I think I just need to sack Sylveon here, unfortunately. And then I can get a safe switch. I mean, he's basically within range of a low punny sweep at this point. Basically. Uh, I may need to weaken that Ferrothorn a little bit more if it's physically defensive. But High Jump Kick's going to do so much to it. Basharp can't do anything to me. Uh, Rotom is at low health. Heatran dies to a high jump kick. He is going to go for the Hydro Pump to finish me off, which is uh, a bit unfortunate. And do I really care about those spikes being up? Do I? Is it worth going for the Rapid Spin? I don't know that it is. I could go into Basharp here, because this is defensive Rotom. Hmm. Let's see. That Landorus is still an issue, though. 
that was the only thing that I was thinking about um, switching in low plenty was he's just gonna switch into land earth and I'm gonna get intimidated and be a sad person very very sad person I'm gonna go into Basharp here I don't care I'm gonna kill something I want something to die I can click knockoff what are you gonna switch into that I mean, I'll get at the very at the very least, I'm going to get rid of something that has lefties and that's going to help me out a lot. Go into the Landorus. Let me just get rid of that right now and give me a defiant boost. <laughs> He's not going to do that. That would just be a bad play as he does go for the Volt Switch. He does outspeed me, so he could have willowed. That's right. I'm running uh, quite a bit of HP investment in that, but he doesn't know that. He, I guess he's thinking I'm running uh, some some uh, speed investment, max speed and such, but I'm not. I took that Volt Switch pretty nicely, I guess, only 26%, and I got a lot of damage, plus got rid of the lefties on this heat trend, which is huge. I am going to go into Starmie here, because he can't do anything to me. He's going to go for the Lava Plume, and he's not getting a burn with his Lava Plume either. I guess there's just no burns to be had other than Willows in this, uh, in this, this battle here. This is a long match. I'm going to click Scald. As he goes into the Ferrothorn, can I please get a burn on this thing? Yes! Yes! Hallelujah! Finally, the Hax Guns have come around and they decided it's okay for things to get burned. It's not the end of the world. Oh, that feels so good. Finally, this thing's lefties are negated. I'm going to click Reflect Type. And uh, we're in a good position here. Like, rapid spinning on this kind of stinks because I'm going to have to take Iron Barbs. But at least we know he doesn't have Rocky Helmet, so... I mean, and I have Recover, so I guess... I guess there's that. But he does try to go for Elite Seed, even though he knows that I have the Reflect type. I don't know what he was expecting there. If he really thought I was going to switch, I don't know. And uh, I can just easily stall this out, or stall it down to a, a low amount of HP. He does opt to go into the Heat Train here, as I'm going to Scald that. That's not enough to kill it. Uh, I could reflect type again, and he's just going to forfeit, actually. Okay, fair enough. We're up to uh, 1123 on the ladder, which is actually pretty pretty high, because the ladder just started today. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess we can look for one more. That was a 17-minute battle? What? What? That was just, that was such a fat team though, that's the problem. That's why I don't like OU, there's so much of that going on. There's actually a lot of that going on in the higher, uh, higher portion of the ladder in NU too, which is really sad, because it used to be such a diverse tier where you could, you know, use fun strategies, and now it's just freaking stall. But, uh, oh well, I guess if it's an effective strategy, people are going to use it, so, oh well. Uh, let's see. This is a fat team as well. Oh my goodness. This is this may even be fatter than the last one. Clefable, Chestnut. He's got the Mega Metagross, which is... I mean, unless that Giratina is offensive, that's really the only thing that I'm afraid of from an offensive perspective. He does have a Spinner in the Tentacruel. He's got the Magic Guard with the Clefable. Uh, Giratina can actually take on the Clefable thanks to Iron Head. Um, but I'm going to start off with Basharp here, as he does start off with the Metagross. And I'm kind of tempted to just click Knockoff. Hmm, what are you going to switch in? Chestnut, maybe? I mean, anything kind of takes a lot of damage. Maybe he'll go into Chestnut. That's the only, that's really the only switch he has. And if he stays in, Knockoff still does a decent chunk to Metagross. I guess I could click Pursuit here, too. Maybe I should have, as he goes into Giratina, and that does 50%, so we're going to be able to remove this thing unless we get min rolled, and then I'm sure if that's the case, we will get burned. Oh, never mind, he outspeeds me and does burn me, so knockoff's not going to kill. That stinks. That stinks indeed. I, I always think that I'm running max speed for some reason, like, I clearly am not running max speed, and I did that on purpose. And I still think I'm going to outspeed things. Like, I, it's very a very slim chance that I was going to outspeed this, if any. And he does show off the Aura Sphere. So a lot of these are running that now just for Basharp. So I guess that makes sense. Kind of unfortunate that I lost Basharp because it could take out with Fable reliably. Giratina is not exactly a reliable uh, counter to it, even with Iron Head. What else? What else? I could go into Low Punny here and just kill it. But I'm going to go into my own Giratina, because judging by how much he took from a knockoff, yeah, Shadow Sneak's definitely going to kill. That's not even a critical hit. 
So he just goes down to that. He is going to go into the Clefable as expected, and that means I get some damage off, which is fun. I can just click Iron Head. That does 47%, and he's going to flinch, which is unfortunate. Do I click it again? Uh, I feel like he's going to switch in Heatran here. I'm going to click Dragon Tail. No, he goes for Moonlight. He's just going to let me Iron Head you. Okay, fair enough. If you're just going to stay in, I'm just going to keep clicking Iron Head. You're going to get worn down. Is he going to flinch again? Which, that really stinks. Sorry about that. I mean, yeah, he says WTF in the, uh, in the comment section or chat or whatever. I'll apologize. I don't know how sorry I really am for that. Just because, I mean, look at his team. Look how fat that team is. I don't know how bad I feel for you. I feel like this is just a stall team. Uh, and I don't feel remorse for people like that. Um, so, thankfully... He uh, doesn't flinch because that that's even still that, that's really unfortunate if he just continues to flinch That's not why I have iron head, but uh, I will click shadow sneak to finish off the clefable So that's a threat removed. He is gonna go into Alex I thought Alex was only for Glaceons. He does not know this person does not know how it works You can't have heat trans named Alex. It doesn't even go Alex is like a nice person's name And he just looks I don't know. He has a snarly face I'm gonna go right into Starmie because Starmie is a good switch in. I resist the stab and I don't really care about status too much. And if he wants to set up hazards, I'm gonna immediately rapid spin those because he has no ghost types now that Giratina is gone. So he does not have a spin blocker. So I don't know. We shall see what he wants to go for. He is gonna go for the Stealth Rocks, which is fine because uh, I could click Scald here too if I wanted to to fish for a burn on something, but. Judging by the fact that, uh, oh, wait a minute, he forfeited. Okay, he had enough, apparently. We get up to 1140 on the ladder, which, like I said, is pretty high just because the ladder just started, so, like, the top is, like, 1200-something. Why is it doing that? Oh, the screen glitched. Okay, I'm gonna have to X out of this, I guess. I can't even see the ladder. Uh, that's 1132. Are, are we higher than 1132? I don't know. I legitimately don't know why it's doing that. Apparently the screen is just kind of uh, freaking out here. Um, I guess there's nothing we can do about it. But anyway, that's going to be it for this time. And that's going to be it for this session. I hope you guys enjoyed. And can I just not get in? No, I don't know why I did that. I'm going to have to X out of it. But like I said, hope you guys enjoyed just kind of messing around in OU for the first time in a while. If you did, please make sure you're leaving a like rating or a comment or whatever you would like to do. And I will see you all next time. But until then, game on.